Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Yves LeVing. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing us. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver out. Right punches there. Oh, massive. 
Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Throwing heat now. Able to check that kick as well. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's able to slip the left there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. I was that tall. Having the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Now connects with a right. Big kick land. He's throwing every part of himself into a big leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Checks the leg kick. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up when the fight stand. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Yep. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Ooh, what a head kick. Straight punch lands. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, let's go, let's go. Keep your hands up, keep that shot. Try Slips. 15 seconds to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take a turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Just unable to quite find that range. Big leg kick lands. Hey. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night.
that that landed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, Hip over when he throws that kick. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Another body kick land. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Great punch. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Unable to connect there. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Single collar tie now. Nice loop at once. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice body kick. Just misses there with the left. That was lightning fast, that right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. For that left, it's not there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. And that left hook landed on the button. Unable to connect with a right hook. Big head kick land. Shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Whiffs on that offering. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust 
and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's gonna be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful strike. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Ooh, big shot, man. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Misses with that punch. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, man, head kick lands. Back and forth we go. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. A swing and a miss by Lee. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big head kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Good jab. Good straight hand there by Lee. Ten seconds now to go in the round. 
can't take many of those, you better check. Nice job of hiding that head again. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Big punch land. Well, he continues to land a high number of... And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Hands high, hands high. He blocks the punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, time needed the body. Single collar tie here. Nice head kick. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch lands through the middle. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Dig and kick. Connects with a right. Visibly limping here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just over three minutes to go. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight. and. Largely, has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' minds. Good stick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his own. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target. Oh, he's shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Great punch landed with so much power. Just misses with the jet. One minute remains in round four of the impossible five. Throws the right hand there. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Head kick. Punch 
punch over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Right on the button. And he comes through with a big knee. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to fight to end the night. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Take a deep breath and relax. Let's clear the cobwebs. You got rocked that last round but you're fine. This round, let's get on your bicycle. Use the... All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. There, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch this punch like this puts a smile on my face. It won't take many of those. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And he counters with a left hand. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, nice job to block the kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice punch there. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Keep going again. Going again. Under three minutes now to go round five. Man, he has a one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's going to be over the top. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Slams the right hand. 
Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. Oh, nice right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. His face is a mess. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.